am I hearing? Thought I heard something. Yeah, no, what did I turn off? I don't actually know. Uh, not that. That was fine. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess it's not in here. I guess we go back outside. Oh, what? Hang on. Oh, never mind. That's some dust floating in the air. Okay. I thought it was an interactable thing. Okay. What the heck did we just turn on? Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. I think Wispy is winning. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Well, okay, what did we turn on? You know what else makes sense? Change me. Oh my god, egg. Dag nab it, egg. Well, dang. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? <clears throat> the doctor seems to be whispering to some rocks. Are they floating? Those footprints definitely do not look human. Uh huh. Face. Is this what's going to happen to me? It took the four of us to subdue him. Where did he get that strength? Don't know. Ooh. What we got here? I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. Huh. Newbury Port Tiara ex Exhibition coming to Boston by C.D. Ward. Huh. Okay. Alright. We all float down here. Oh my god. Oh no. Strange incident. Goodness me, what a collection of happy news. Strange incident in Massachusetts. The Gardner family vanishes from their Arkham farm by C.D. Ward. Oh, great. Arkham. 
Oh my. Robert Sudam and his wife found dead at high seas by C.D. Ward. Wait, can I... Is there more? No. Okay. No. Cults and Rituals, an interview with Inspector John Raymond Legrasse by C.D. Ward. Huh. Warden Blake News Agency. Cassandra D. Ward. Oh, C.D. Ward. Okay, Cassandra D. Ward, 31st Regent Street, Boston, Massachusetts. Huh. What is this? Photographic film. Oh. I see. Photograph. Plant. Someone here had a green thumb. Huh. He got it from insert sponsorship here. Hmm. A portable typewriter. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights on. Oh. Uh. Maybe that's what the power was for, but then where is the... How do I... How do I actually turn it on? Uh... Here? No. Okay, wait. Is the power not coming from the ship? interact with those though <clears throat> Oh this Well damn okay is rather limited here. I see. Um... Well, okay, wait a minute. So I turned the thing on in the ship. Um... At least I thought I did. Let me double check here. It's always Pennywise. What about Nickelback? God damn it, Egg. Oh my. Okay, no, so that's still on. Okay, so this is working. Oh! Boop. Okay. Okay. I see. I see where this is going. Okay. There we go. I missed a... I missed a switch somewhere along the way. Oh my. I guess this is what happens when you overlook things. Oh bye. Um, let's see. So I should be able to oh switch here. At last, some light. That should make things easier. Okay. There we go, that helps a lot.
Still can't touch that, unfortunately. Oh. Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Looks like someone tried to chop it. Like an axe or something. Huh. Weird. Aha, more lights. Very helpful. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Okay, it's filling in now. The doctor seemed to be possessed by something that gave him incredible strength. The rest of the expedition had to subdue him and tie him to a pole. After several days of descending further into madness, the doctor disappeared into the dead of night. His restraints were torn apart, and there were strange footprints in the sand nearby. Uh, I'm going to mute for a second. Someone here had a green thumb. A portable typewriter. Never heard of this Eric Zan fella. Alright. A pulp magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. The Tales from Beyond. Oh my god. Well, Alright then. The house at the end of the world. Interesting. I don't know if someone in the expedition was a cook, but I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it. Oh my god. <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory. He only ate out of tomato soup and corn cans. I've never seen anybody with such poor <laughs> nourishment. The expedition only has five members now. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? No? Okay. Uh, what's that? Someone took notes about some important dates. June 30th, arrival on the island. July 1st, we set up camp. July 14th, Roy blows up the well's hatch. July 24th, we strike camp and move to the beach. July 14th, last entry in Lay Shannon's ship log. Same day. Aha. So when he blew up the hatch, it's the same day that the Shannon went to ground. Ooh. Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he call some more? Interesting. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. 
Innsmouth's Fisherman Sardines. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's, that's, that's definitely a problem. Marsh Cannery. Oh my god. Oh. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. Hmm. Hmm. A white fedora. It's really dirty. Okay. <clears throat> oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loom. Yesterday the stones danced with my song. My song Mijin Liev Lidj. Everything is tuned in this place. There's a treasure in shot Gokarlul Rulul Finiglui Faf Igle. My god. Great. Great. That's always good when we hear that language. Oh, what's that? This carded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. I see. These medical tools are hair raising. The doctor was certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Miss Ward, our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off of this island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave was determined to leave not to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to try to convince him? Frank. Huh. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you're saying, but we can't leave Harry al here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in a scoop, but what would you do if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Hmm. I'm guessing this is Cassandra. Or was it Chandra? Hmm. Oh. These two fellows seem to get along pretty well. <clears throat> Frank and Tihoroa singing while working in the workshop. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. It's nice. Hmm. Alright. Um. But yeah, I'm guessing that was... Where's the card? Cassandra, yeah. Cassandra Ward. Ay, 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 ay. So what's back here? Stairs? Hmm. Okay, this is getting weirder. What do we got? Another note. What? Hmm. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. K 
Okay. Wow, look at the size of these stones. South Pacific Expeditions, megalithic basalt stones. Huh. Oh, whoops. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. Tide levels measurement. Ever Her Harry Everhart. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. Okay. I see. Aw. Huh. Well, look at that. <laughs> oh. Um, excuse me. What? Well, that cartoon was unexpected. Not another boring. Uh huh. That's a uh, that's a little weird. It's a little bit weird. Okay. You always did have a good ear, Harry. I've been studying this structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. Let's see. Whoops. How can <clears throat> someone build something like this out of stone? Section C, basalt structure, huge stone pipe organ. Waves push air through carved stone tubes. Huh. Okay. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So, Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. I see. Okay. Oh. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Harry found another unknown structure built by a previous civilization. He keeps searching for answers, even as they wait for help to arrive. The title organ emits musical tones when the water pushes air through its tubes. New moon, full moon. Huh. All right. Um, I think we'll check this in a minute. I think I'm gonna try and go back to that workshop. What in the hell is all this? Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. Huh. <clears throat> it's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. Hmm. 
Oh? What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. Okay. So that's the organ, I assume, then? Mainly? What in the hell? This is nuts. This is downright freaking nuts, I'm telling you. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna just keep going for now. Um. I may need to... I might just call it basically when I get, either when I finish the game or I get hungry enough. Uh, we'll see. Um. So, okay, there's a way up there. Ah, the workshop is lit up now too, okay. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. Hmm. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the reveal reve reveal reveal this reveal this morning. I didn't expect to wake all of you up with the noise from that awful organ. The good news is that the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. The bad news is that the temple's on the on the mountaintop. So I hope you're in the mood for a good hike. All joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me. Harry. Okay. This is the reason the ship was scavenged. Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to. Build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. Do you think we can do that? Harry. Ah. Huh. Okay. What kind of machine were, what kind of machine were you building? What in the world? Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Uh huh. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. Frank. Great idea. We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing. Please stop calling me Mr. Everhart. Call me Harry, as all my friends do. Oh my god. The bromance has started. Um. Harry managed to activate the organ, which revealed something at the top of the mountain. Another temple, maybe? After he intended to build some... And he intended to build some sort of machine up there. I see. 